All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. So I've got another PSA return for you guys today. Um, there should be a lot more of these coming in the near future, and I just sent out a lot more um, that are just going to be arriving to PSA in the near future. But I've got um, a really big Tops one that's coming back from the earlier Tops openings that I did, and then I just obviously sent in a really big Tops one from the most recent Tops opening that I did. Um, so those will be coming back. Um, I sent in a really cool express order a five card order of some pretty valuable cards that i think you guys will like to see get back um, but all in all i think within the next month or so there's about two three hundred cards that should be coming back in a couple different orders so if you guys enjoy these psa returns uh, there's definitely some more of these coming now in this submission i believe it was just pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. um i i've I think it's a 30 card submission, 27 card, not a huge submission. And I've got another submission of a similar size uh, that should be coming back any day now, probably this week as well. I know a lot of you guys enjoy um, these unboxing videos, these PSA return videos. And any of these cards that you see duplicates of, these will be listed on my eBay and there will be a link in the description box below for that. So if you guys are interested in anything you see in this video, um, there's a good chance it'll be listed on eBay depending on what it is. Um, and I honestly don't really remember too much what's in here. I'm seeing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. I think they're Blue Eyes White Dragons, which is uh, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. But I think it is the uh, the 2016 Mega Ten Blue Eyes because I've told this story before. But I got back into collecting Yu-Gi-Oh, and we'll just go ahead and start unboxing these. Nice, a PSA nine of the Blue Eyes White Dragon from the 2016 Mega Tens. That's probably the best one we're gonna get. I've only gotten one 10 and I've graded like 50 of these. But, um, so I started collecting Yu-Gi-Oh again back in 2015. Let's see, another Blue Eyes, this one's a seven. So in 2015, uh, I started getting back into it. I started buying sealed products. I started buying stuff like Legendary Collection or whatever. PSA 9 of the Full Art Charizard V-Star from the Ultra Premium Collection. So I started buying stuff again, whatever. And um, then these these tins came out. And at the time, it was like the first reprint that I had ever seen of the Starter Deck Kaiba Blue Eyes artwork, which has always been my favorite. And when that came out, the singles of that card were selling literally for like $1 to $3. You could get one for $0.99 cents and free shipping and someone would send it to you with a stamp on it. Um, for just a near mint single of that Blue Eyes card. And at the time, I wasn't, I, I didn't have a, a huge YouTube channel like I do now. I didn't have Nick Strength and Power popping off like it is now. But I had a decent amount of money. I was working um, and I was doing YouTube, so I had a little bit of side money. But my channel wasn't big at the time. So I would spend maybe a couple hundred bucks a month on these Blue Eyes cards. I thought this will be a good investment because this is the only reprint that I know of, of this, you know, legendary artwork. There's another one in the six. So I bought hundreds, literally hundreds of this Blue Eyes Raw. Now I've still got a binder full of them. And I've been sending them off now. Every submission I'll send 10 or 20 um, to grade. And they sell really, really well. So I paid, like I said, maybe a dollar, a couple bucks each. Um, and even like, even like the lower grades, like six or seven, will sell for 30 bucks, 40 bucks. PSA 9 will sell for 70, 80, 90 bucks sometimes. Um, and the 10, really hard to get. I've only graded one. I've kept that, so I'm not selling any. But I'm trying to get another one. So every PSA submission, I'll throw in a couple more of these. Um, just grade them for 15 bucks a piece whenever there's a deal. PSA 8. But like I said, I didn't pull many of these myself. I bought them secondary market. There's five, so I don't know how good of condition they were actually in. But I got a lot of them. Oh, there's another nine. Nice. But I got a lot of them, so I've been grading a lot of them, and I, it's been fun, man. I want to I want to add to my own collection, and if I get another ten, I probably won't even sell it. I'll probably keep it. Um, but if you're into blue eyes, these will all be on my, my eBay page. Then I've got another submission. I think actually the other 30-card submission has a lot of blue eyes in it that are not these. I've got... Um, there's another reprint of the LOB Blue Eyes around this same time in one of the tins. I sent a bunch of those. Um, I sent some of the Legendary Collection or Legendary Dex Kaiba stuff. There's there's a bunch of cool Blue Eyes stuff in one of the submissions that's coming back here soon. Another eight. 
But yeah, these seem to sell very well, and this turned out to be a pretty good investment for a card that I bought for $0.99, cents, $2, $3. Um, I, I don't think I've ever sold one one of these slabs less than 20 bucks. So I have 20 times. There's a four. Wow, that's pretty bad. What's wrong with that one? There must be some kind of surface damage I'm not seeing. Maybe there's some scratches on the hollow. I can't tell if that's the case or the hollow. But yeah, I've been just sending. I'll just take 10. 15 straight out of the binder that I've got and just send them in. But I love this card. And I think there's three submissions there right now that all have a, a number of these blue eyes in them. Oh, nice, a 10. So I've graded a, a lot of these will be on eBay because I've graded a bunch of these I've opened now maybe. Well, let's see. I've got a box of coins. So I've opened, you know, maybe 10, maybe a dozen uh, ultra premium collections now and i've been grading every single promo that i pull from it and in my personal collection now i have a 10 of this or no i have a 10 of the sleeping one which would be the v and i have a 10 of like the big game of thrones looking one which i believe would be the v max so this is the only one i think i'm missing from my personal collection so i graded a bunch of these in this submission so they should all be for sale because this was the only one that I needed to add to my collection of Charizards. Everything else um, is just extra at this point. So yeah, finally completed my collection. A six, yeah, some of these grade really low, but like I said, even the low grades do well. I mean, the artwork is beautiful. It looks good on this holofoil. You can't go wrong with that original SDK Blue Eyes artwork. It's like a cheap version of the original. And I, hell, even getting a PSA 9 for under 100 bucks, I think a lot of people like to add a slab. Blue Eyes, their collection, six. But this is one of my favorite investments that I've made and one of the most fun um, to grade and sell off. Six, a lot of sixes in these, man. I don't think I got a 10 from the submission, seven. I do briefly glance over some of the submissions when I get the results back over email um, just to make sure there was no upcharges. Oh, yeah, so I sent a bunch of these, too. So this is different than the other one I'm talking about. I've got a 10 variation that's a secret rare, but I sent some of these. This one apparently got a 7. The VMAX gets a 10. Nice, so that'll be on eBay. VMAX gets a 9. V gets an 8. Another V Max 10. Nice. Not bad. Another V and an 8. Oh, yeah. Also, I've got a really cool one. I think the next one that should be coming back is the next submission. I graded some of these old 1999 Topps Merlin Pokemon stickers. So they're going to be in a slab the size of a trading card slab. It's going to be like this little sticker in the middle. And I graded a bunch of the Charizard ones. And I'm, I'm very curious to see what those grade. Um, and I graded a lot of them. So I'm going to be keeping one of each. And then I'm going to be selling the rest. So if that's something you guys might be interested in. Another 10 in the VMAX. The VMAX is doing well. That'll be coming back soon. I've never graded these stickers before. A V and a 9. And this is my favorite one of the three, by the way. But I've already got in a 10. Oh, yeah. I should go in this 9 stack. So i got three left. There we go. There we got it in a 10. Do we have a 10 of each for... Oh, we do. We have a 10 of each for eBay. Not bad. And an 8. All right, not bad. So there we've got a, a, a nice little set. We got a 10 of the V-Star. Is that our thumbnail? That was a good submission for, for these Charizards. A lot of people have had trouble grading these in a 10 in one submission. Got all three in a 10. Can't complain about that. Too bad they're not sequential. Well, they're close to it. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Pokemon signing out.